Hey guys and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Out of the Shadows. Now we all know Casey Jones is coming in. Um, Stephen Amell is playing him. The fact that he doesn't have the long hair that we, you know, that we would know for him to have, it's kind of like, oh, really? We're going to have a clean cut hair because he has short hair for that TV show Arrow. Damn it. That just kind of, that kind of sucks. Uh, that, that might be not that. Then you got, which was pretty cool, Rocksteady and Bebop are going to make an introduction finally into the cinematic world of the Turtles. Now, we didn't get that in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. We had Toka and Razor. They were kind of cool, but yeah, just it's just not the same when you grew up watching the Turtles cartoon. And that's what I grew up on. I grew up on the original cartoon. Now, they look badass like they do in the cartoons, and they look really cool. I think they did a really good job. CGI could be just maybe just a little bit better because it's still kind of a little unrealistic, but it still looks pretty cool. Um, the actor you have playing uh, Rock, uh, Rocksteady is Sheamus, who's a WWE wrestler. And I forgot the name of the guy who played Bebop, but he was in the Harold and Kumar 1. Uh, he was in the he was the, the black guy who was in prison because he was reading a book. That was it because of the racist cops. Yeah. Now, his mohawk in the trailer... When he's a human, is perfect. But when he becomes Bebop, it's thinner, it's smaller. I'm like, no, it, why? I go, I know it's the hair was wet, but I don't know. But I do like the way they look. I think they look badass, and I think it's just, I think they nailed it with that. I also, we also see, you know, the the Terodrome. If you don't know what that is, check out the original cartoon, or here's a picture of it. That's what the Terodrome looks like. That's where Krang is from, and we all know, and I'm believing, this is, okay, predictions right here. The scene that we see where the big old vortex in the sky and the opening up in the middle, that is Krang coming to Earth at the end of the movie uh, from Dimension X, and we see him coming to Earth. Now, he's coming, into, he's coming to Earth in the suit, in the suit, which was actually created for him in the cartoon after, you know, he was already on Earth, and he was only just a brain just kind of blobbling around, and he, all, that's all he was. Now, we see him in the suit. In his suit, he looks just like the cartoon, which is pretty amazing. I mean, if you think about it, you know, cartoon, then you got the movie. It's, like, very similar. I mean, pretty awesome. That You know, there are, of course, some few changes here and there, but it still looks pretty badass. Uh, the fight that they see with him turning around like this and spinning around, and that was another cool thing. Um, with the, the, all the stuff that they have with that, then, you know, are we going to get, you know, other characters from other dimensions? Are we going to get Yojimbo coming in? Are we going to get uh, the, the the those rock people? I mean, you know, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. This set up with this part, too, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also get Shredder, but there's not the Shredder from part one. They got a different actor playing him. Did the ooze that he grabbed at the end of the Turtles movie, did it make him younger? Did it change? What did it do? Did it cure something about him? Because he does not look the same. Like he did the first one. So what did the ooze do to him to make him look like that? Did it did it make him younger? Did it cure whatever him did? It, what did it, what? Well, we got to keep, we gotta, we need answers for that one. So hopefully we get those answers because you see they're like, Shredder was bald. He has scars on his. Now he has facial hair. He has a full head of hair. He looks younger. Explain that to me, please. Two, we see a Shredder suit, which was tweeted out. And it looks a lot better than the one in the first one because the first one was stupid and retarded. It was like, what is it? It's like, why is he a mech suit? If Shredder's such a badass, why does he need all these extra stuff to fight the Turtles? He could have done it by himself. He didn't need all that. That was that's what was really made me mad. The first original Turtles movie, he fought the Turtles without a super suit. And he kicked their butts because that's how badass he was. He didn't need all this extra stuff, flying swords and knives and all that off his suit. <sighs> Sorry, allergies. Uh but it's like, the, he didn't need all that. So now we get a regular Shredder with a regular suit, which is pretty cool. And Karai, who was in the original one, is a different actress again. What is wrong? Why? Why would you do that? You don't start off a movie, have an actor playing that character, and they come in and have a different actor playing that, that same character. It, it's like you're saying, what we did in the first one was cool, but we got to change a few things to make it better. That's one thing you don't do. It's like, come on, that makes no sense. Now, with the introduction of Roxanne and Bebop, which is pretty cool, and the introduction of Casey Jones, and then with the Shredder being younger, 
I'm just hoping it doesn't get too overbloated and it just crushes under the weight. Now, if I'm thinking I'm right, and I'm, I'm this is my prediction that it's Strider devising a plan to get you know to destroy the turtles and take over the city, but he ends up tapping into Dimension X and bringing Krang over by mistake, and you know Rocks and Bebop are his henchmen because of what's going on, and that's how you know Krang comes to Earth and stuff like that, which will set up I think the third movie. Another thing I didn't I, I think was kind of uh, not a good catching choice was. Tyler Perry casted as Baxter Stockman. I don't, I don't see him playing a serious role. It looks like it's going to be way more comedic than it's supposed to be. He's supposed to be like a scientist, a smart scientist. And I figured he'd be a lot more serious. The cartoon, he was white. And, you know, the comics, he's black. But the cartoons, he was serious. But he was, um, he was scared and a whippy nerd. Like a stereotypical whippy nerd. But he's smart. He wasn't comedic. He wasn't... No. He, you know, I don't know. It's, that's what it seems like he's painted it as. And he, he also, he's the one that also basically makes Rocksteady and Bebop into who they are. Now, will that set up his... The ending of the movie, will that set up him becoming the, the Fly? Baxter Fly in the third Turtles movie? Will we get... And, and again, that's just me speculating. With all the things that are going on right now, if this movie turns out to be really good, the third movie. Now we're going to talk about what could possibly happen in the third movie. Will we get Leatherhead? Oh, ho, ho. that'd be pretty awesome. That oh, I would love to see Leatherhead on screen. Will we get those little Mauser rat uh, rats uh, the, uh, that they create? Will we get um, Yo Jimbo, like I said before, the, the Samurai Rabbit? That'd be pretty badass. Will we get those rock creatures from another planet? That'd be pretty awesome too. Will we get uh, Sewer King? I'm not too sure about Sewer King. It was uh, as a villain, but I'm telling you, all these characters that they had in the cartoon, that they're going to start taking stuff like that and stuff from the comics. Will we get these in the movie? I would love to see this. If they do a really good job in the second one, we might get the third one. But will they appear? Let me know your thoughts on what you're thinking of the trailer so far and the this Turtles movie so far. Do you think the Casey Jones looks cool? I love his mask. His mask looks amazing. Now. From the set pictures that we've seen, which wasn't that many, you know, his mask looks pretty pretty on point. Um, you know, they're keeping uh, pictures. I haven't seen that many pictures, which is pretty crazy. Then you have, you know, the turtles, of course, you know, in their CGI, little, their little suits with the little dots on it so they can get, like, you know, perfect CGI pinpoints of where they're supposed to be. And then you have, you know, of course, like I said, Shredder in his, in his outfit and all that. And of course, you see Rockstar and Bebop in their costumes. <clears throat> but another cool thing, what I saw was... April O'Neil from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 and 2 making a cameo appearance right here next to the new April O'Neil. That was pretty cool. That was kind of cool. So we have the original April with the new April side by side in the same movie. Yes! It's kind of cool. Um, I would love to hear her thoughts and what she thinks, what she thought of the first Turtle movie and what she thinks, you know, of the second one and. You know what you know what her role is you know because you know I didn't really get to delve that much into that that fact of it but with them going into dimension with the whole dimension X thing coming on into this movie I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty cool and this time this will be the first time we see the turtles you know really 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 exposed the second one they kind of expose them but not as much as this one it looks like they're exposed more so than they are normally so I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts on the trailers. Uh, what's your thoughts on the second one? Movie? Do you think it's going to be just as good as the first one or better? Do you think they're going to, you know, basically improve on what they did to make it a better job? And are we going to get a cool Roxanne Bebop? Or is it going to be too much and they're going to hurt themselves and it's just going to be a little, too little too late? You know what I'm saying? And Krang. What do you think of Krang? What do you think of how he looks? Do you think he looks pretty awesome? Because I think he looks pretty awesome. Remember, leave all those comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys around for more uh, talks. And, of course, links below for my other turtle talks. And I'll see you guys next time for more. All right, guys. Bye.